assalamu alaikum uh, i'm going to quickly give you a review of the nested formula and at the end uh, basics about other formulas so uh, we have applied all these formula the total the percentage uh, result this was the simple logical formula now we are going to see how to apply this formula which is going to give you grades uh, decide the grade of a student uh, considering the percentage and we have already uh, make a criteria that if somebody is getting um, uh, more than 90 percent marks they are going to be declared as a grade a uh, and 80 to 90 b 70 to 80 c and 60 to 70 c d and the remaining will be considered as fail uh, means that below 60 percent are fail so how you are going to write this formula is simple uh, this is called the nested formula because the basic formula is the same but what you are doing is when the first condition is not met instead of writing the second condition you will start the formula again and give another condition yeah, it means that formula uh, uh, has a nest in it and it's basically uh, is processing inside the main formula so what it is is that uh, our percentage was at k5 so i'll just check from first grade that if it is greater than 90 percent 19.99 percent then it uh, student will be considered a grade this if this fails that means it is definitely below 90 percent marks are below 90 percent so we are going to put another uh, formula here uh, with the if formula then same place k5 greater than 80.99 to see if it is above 80 one person so if it is then it will be b otherwise for the false condition we are going to again check it for 70.99 that is more than 71 percent so it will be considered c and if not then we will check 59.99 that is above 60 and above and uh, it will be considered as d and in case it is again not above 60 percent then definitely it's below 60 percent so we will give f so this is the formula the other thing is that any number of brackets you are opening in the nested formula you are going to close those brackets so like if we have one two three four bracket opening so we'll at the end of the formula we'll uh, going to close four brackets so this is called nested formula and once you apply it you will see the results accordingly and if i change the number of a student here you see the total changes in, uh, results in the change in the percentage and finally the grade has also changed so this is how nested formula work the other thing i wanted to show you is you can find out the minimum maximum and average there are plenty of formulas but these are the basics so i wanted you to do this also so uh, the simple is uh, just put minimum and the range from j5 to g14 that is this column the total column i wanted to check so once i put enter i'll get 294 which is the minimum number obtained by any student is uh, similar is the case with the maximum so if i put maximum is equals to maximum j5 j14 in my sheet is the column where the total marks are written it's 483 so 483 is the maximum marks obtained and this is the average for average you can see that you have to type the average completely a v e r a g then the bracket and j5 column j15 that means from j5 to j15 column will be considered for taking the averages and you get the similar is the case of percentages i have applied the same formula for percent k5 14 minimum maximum and this is the total average percentage average percentage of the student the maximum percentage is 96.6 which is i think this is the 96.6 percent and uh, the average is 71 percent so i want you to incorporate all these and apply on your spreadsheet thank you